Hello everyone and welcome to Cineful Gaming. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all staying safe, and most of all, I hope you're all fighting that war against the grey. Today's video, we're going to do an unboxing because Mantic Games have sent me out the brand new Dead Zone 2 player starter set to check out on the channel. Now, I've been really interested in Mantic Games sort of sci-fi universe for a while, ever since I started getting into uh, Kings of War. They've got some really cool miniatures. This one contains the Asterians, which I think are probably going to be my army. If I take a look at it, maybe the Vermin as well. Um, we'll talk about them and you'll see some of them on the channel in the future. But it's also got the Plague Abominations as well. This is a really cool game. This is their skirmish level game. So if I'm going to equate it to something else, uh, this would be more at the skirmish style level of, say, a game like Infinity or Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team Necromunda. That sort of level of amount of miniatures on the table, um, with maybe a few more bigger miniatures, so maybe a little bit more Infinity uh, Kill Team style. But we're going to open this up, we're going to check it all out. Massive thanks to Mantix Game for sending us out a copy to check out. Pretty awesome box, so let's get cracking on into it. Alrighty, and so we have this awesome box set from Mantic Games, the new Dead Zone 2 player starter set. Uh, let's crack her open. Um, so. I can get her open. Okay, that is nice and tight. So I can shake it open. There we go. It's coming out now. I do like that they do this with this. You want to know why? First of all, I think I can cut this out and use this as a piece of bark um, to hang on my wall, which is cool. Small things make me happy. Um, but here we have the starter set. So everything inside here. Um, so, this contains rules, so first of all we've got, you know, our special dice for the game, we've got bases for the miniatures, which is cool. Um, I do like that they, you know, put these little dents in them so you can actually um, magnetise the bases really easy, it's pretty cool. We've got all the cool terrain, I love that the terrain is hard plastic, I know some games give away terrain like this and it's all cardboard, it's not as cool as having hard plastic terrain. Um, so we'll move this out of the way so we can sort of get a nice better look at all the hard plastic stuff that comes in it. Um, but yeah, you know, there's a ton of this terrain. Scanner terrain, little bits and bobs, light posts, like just so much of this in there. This is just awesome, but look at that. It's, it's like a board's worth of terrain, which is awesome. I think if you combine this with like another one, you've really got a decent sized board. And it sort of shows on here, like you can really see like how much terrain is in this box set, which is awesome. Um, so we've got more of our special dice. They do feel really nice, the special dice. I know it's like, it's just dice, but they feel nice. <laughs> um, now these are the resin miniatures. These are generally the characters. We'll open one up and have a look inside. Right. That's a really nice sculpt there of a resin mini. Look at that, nice, very good detail. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't mind resin minis at all. I know they're not as easy to work with as plastic, but if it means I get a better sculpt, I'm quite happy to have a resin mini. We might as well have a check out of the other one. This is the uh, Plague in General. So what was that? That was resin Matsudan Otasora. Try and find his body. That's the cool plague general. Like really nice sculpt once again. And we start looking at these plastic minis. So I'll pull these out because they glare. Um, see these are starting to look like some nice, really high quality plastics. So something like Mantic has really come like Mantic have always, I guess, had an issue where people have thought their hashtag not GW movies and their games like it were just cheaper alternatives for GW. And maybe that was once the case. Maybe. Um, but both this and King, both like Dead Zone and Kings of War and all their games, I think, are really starting to take on their own. Um, they're really upping the level of the quality in their plastics. They're now in that more soft style plastic like GW minis are in which is really nice. Um, I'm just getting higher quality minis all the time from Antic. Um, 
and you can see like just getting more and more like plenty of minis inside this box set which is awesome like nice high quality minis it's something that Mantic has really taken to that next level and I think has improved them massively as a company uh, you've got a nice little token board nice thick tokens as well like I like when if they're going to be cardboard tokens make it thick card like this just makes them so much more durable uh, we got a cool rule book. So, this is the Force Lists book. Really nice artwork. Vermin on the front, which is probably the other faction I want to get. Um, so, you've got all your Force Lists in here, which is awesome. Cool pictures. That's pretty sweet. Nice artwork and showing a bunch of minis. Uh, and then you've got a new rule book with the updated rule book and all of that. Which is awesome. Uh, once again, you know, just really nice looking rule book. Uh, on the back of it, you've got like a roster sheet, which is cool. You've got cool artwork throughout it. Uh, background as well, so some good narrative in here, which I think is important. Something as well as the minis that Mantic has really made um, massive strides in is making sure that their narrative is truly their own. And then we've got these in there as well. So we've got a battle mat, which is awesome. Um, so that'll be a battle map and I like about this too on the side of it the battle map has these has the rules on the side of it so you can pull out your battle map to play if you have rules it's cool uh, and then we've got the getting started booklet here some build instruction for some of the more complicated models and the terrain and all of that but all in all a really cool set um, a ton of terrain a ton of minis um, Mantic have really stepped up their game I think for Dead Zone, for Kings of War, all of that. Um, I think there's just so much going for them now. Like, it's massive on how far they've really come. But if you play Dead Zone, if you play Kings of War, any of Mantic games, I'd love to check out more stuff from Mantic because as a company, they've really come on uh, leaps and bounds. So let us know your thoughts. Let us know what you want to see from Dead Zone, Kings of War, other Mantic games. Let us know what you want to see. I'll reach out to Mantic and maybe, you know, we might get some more Mantic games on the channel soon as well. And so that's the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And also drop a comment down below letting us know what you thought of the video. If you'd like to come chat more with me and other members of our little community here at Sinful Gaming, we have a Discord server, which is linked down in the video's description. Also linked down in the video's description are the best ways to help support the channel, either by Patreon or YouTube members, or by grabbing yourself some channel merch from our Teespring or Kofi stores. As a special thank you to all our Patreon and YouTube members, we'd like to give them all a shout out for their amazing support. So thank you to our Patreons, Christian Weir, Soren, Kenny Lowe, Alderon Shop First, Andrew Bowen, The Rising Ape, Q Dynamic, Anthony B, JJ Austrian, Average Wargamer, Domir, Mark Harvey, James Cater, Benjamin Swallows, Red Martin, Iron Grinch, Nicholas Colomos, Colorblind Magic, Daniel Etherington, and Andy C. And a special thank you to our YouTube members, Green Roots Gaming, Ronya, Lock Lorik, The Johnny 84, David Ellsworth, Wolfric Nick, Broken Chef, Ariana Edwards, Revenar, Pink Nico Fire, Robin Mankiller, Monty's Tabletop Terrain, John Castle, Davis Weir, James South, James Tillman, and Dylan Arino. Lastly, a special thank you to Lady Witch Fox Art, who does all the amazing artwork you see here on the channel. Thank you for everything. And also, a massive thank you to all our moderators on our Discord server and everyone that comes and helps film the battle reports on the channel. Thank you all once again. Stay safe, everyone. Stay well. And most of all, keep fighting that war against the grey. Ciao for now.